win. Perfect. Okay, for this match we have Cigar Bob versus Cigar Girl. This was sent to me by request. It was sent as an actual YouTube video link. It was set to private, so I could not use YouTube Downloader. So I just said, fuck it. I'll just record from straight up from the stream. Uh, both Rock and Faye. Cigar Bob lately has been maining Faye long. Uh, Cigar Girl, also, you'll catch her a lot on GGPO, also known as the Utility Girl. Here we go. She goes in for um, up kick. You gotta be careful with that. Maybe do it from a little bit closer distance. If you do it when you're too close, or I'm sorry, when you're too far like that, it gives a lot of time to react. And as you saw, you could get an easy flame kick, or maybe against like a Shoto, easy DP, e any easy uh, invincible move. So be a little bit closer against those. Again, Fei Long is, I've said this before, he's my least played character in this game, so I'm probably gonna say some shit that I don't know. <laughs> Right there, that's some good stuff, but yeah, don't get too greedy with them. Because that's not a true block string or anything. After that fierce, you can always get hit by any reversal. There you go. Uh, one thing though, Fei Long's flame kick's not completely invincible, as you saw. If you get above it, you're going to at least trade with it. I still think the play, the Fei Long that does a flame kick will still come out ahead. He will land a little bit closer, get up quicker. Oh, not that. If all five of those hit, that would have been it. You saw that. That's uh, Fei Long only can. Well, not Fei Long only. I mean, uh, Fei Long can go into the corner on your knockdown. That's a standing forward that he does. Plus, oh, no character slut. <laughs> does a standing forward. He'll be able to hit that fierce rectus. And that, if it doesn't kill you, it will stun you. Nice lariat. Ooh, that was a very good cross-up. Maybe slightly too soon. But yeah, once you, as a geek, once you get a knockdown against Phalong, get meaty, get right behind him. You're going to have some fun. Oh, very nice reversal. Green hand in, getting nice and quick. Phalong getting very ballsy. I wouldn't do that against Geef because of that right there. The lariats will beat any like chicken wing or jumping like that. I like the editing on this. <laughs> Better than any shit I could do. Well, not can do, probably. I'm just too lazy. That's two in a row, those toward roundhouses. It's pretty good distancing. I don't like seeing it as often as he's using it, though. He's being pretty ballsy on doing that, because it's a very punishable move. At such a slow startup that the other Phelon can actually do flame kick. That's such a ghetto tick in the throw. Oh, right, there was another throw attempt. Nice read of that low forward, though. And just go for the... Never mind. Like I said, just go for the throw for the win. Scar, Scar Girl gave that up, though. Ooh, nice cross up. Uh, fierce. Nope, that's ready for a fierce flame kick, but no. Nope. Oh, there's that toward roundhouse again. I do not like seeing that move. Not that it's terrible, but there's so many other better options that you can do. Like, just even a jab Rekka, I think, would come out a little bit quicker, and you'd be a little bit safer doing that as well. Build a little bit of a meter, too. A very nice chicken wing. If that didn't kill, if that didn't kill Fei Long, he, 
uh, Scargirl there could have done a few more attacks, even do another juggle, and possibly a super. Uh, Phalanx also has a very good low forward, good reach. He kind of leans down a little bit, so his, his actual hitbox is really weird. Ooh, should have just done standing super. You got very lucky there. Uh, just do a super on their wake up. Even if they reversal flame kick, they're going to land in front of you there. If they do a roundhouse flame kick, they won't be invincible enough to make it all the way up past you. Alright, Scarbob. Probably one of the most fun Ken players I've ever played. Uh, he absolutely loves his knee his knee bash. So be ready to see that quite a bit. Low strong, low roundhouse also. He's that's one of his favorite things to do. Or it used to be. This is a couple years ago. <laughs> the reasoning for the fierce DP as opposed to jab or strong DP there is just to cover the distance. He would he doesn't want it to miss or anything. Like Say uh, Fei Long does a weird chicken wing, it goes a little bit further than you expect. You're, he's going to land before your DP is done, and he might be able to punish you. So as soon as you just see him go in the air, just fierce. You'll cover the distance far enough. You're going to tag him no matter what. Ooh, that would have been a very nice setup because that uh, roundhouse was done right as soon as he stood up. That's very nice stuff to see. What would have been very, very sick, just do that toward roundhouse, you know, that little hop. It finishes right before the other Phalon gets up, DP, because they're going to try to react to that roundhouse. And your Ken's DP, I'm sorry, Phalon would have beat it. Unless, of course, Ken does his DP. Yeah, not much you can do there. Maybe try to do a flame kick in between the supers there, in between the first and the second DP. But even then, I think you're still going to lose that. So it never hurts to try something. Either try or lose, you know? Which one do you want to choose? Well, always try instead of losing. Solid render canceling, not the easiest thing to do. Also, not the hardest. Once you actually practice it and put in some time to learn it, uh, you can. Most people can do it pretty consistently. That actually want to learn it. What you do, uh, just you do a cross up, whatever, or you can just do walk up, whatever. Low short, low short. You do a third low short, but it doesn't hit. You cancel instantly. Cancel that third low short into the super motion. Because if you mash out the low shorts, it counts as a chain cancel, like where you don't need to time anything. And that in itself can't cancel into a super, it can just do two of them. But if you do that third low short, that would be cancelable. And that's right there why you use a fierce. It would have went right through that chicken wing instead of getting uh, traded with. Well, he could fireball you on that. Okay, looks like button testing instead of meter building. My mistake. <laughs> yeah, Ken will win that. You, you don't fuck with Ken's DP ever. Now that is something I've never seen before. I've never ever seen fierce combo into super. Good to know that it's possible. Careful with Faith. Uh, that last rack is, of course, very punishable if it gets blocked. Yeah. 
Okay, it looks, I have a timer for the YouTube video. It looks like this is the end of it. And thank you for watching.